talking about race is, is really, really important. But just like, like you, I, I never know w what to say. And then I'm, I'm very, very scared of saying the, the wrong thing as well. I think it's also the fact that I'm still learning about it. And I know that I'm still growing as a person. Like, I'm 20 years old now. And, like, some of my thoughts on the topic might change in 10 years. And then I'll have to look back at what... I have a really big platform right now and what lots of people might see me say and hear me say, what if that's not actually the right thing or what if someone listens to that and takes in the complete wrong direction and then it has like bad impacts. It's just a lot of pressure to put on someone that's still growing and still doesn't know everything about themselves. I think like I'd like people to like realise that, because I think when I talk to a lot of people about like Black History Month and like Black Lives Matter and things. People are like, oh, but you know, slavery was ages ago, and like things aren't like that now. But like, especially in the context of Trinity, like you know, Trinity like isn't that diverse and still has so much further to go. So it's like, you know, we're still behind and we're still in a time where there isn't like equality. Which some people just genuinely think like, oh, that stuff doesn't happen anymore. Like that's all over. Like everyone's equal. So. Sometimes I wish there was more just like, just kind of like reflect and just realise like just because slavery isn't a thing anymore doesn't mean that racism doesn't exist and doesn't mean there's still not massive inequalities. Um, because I think that's just used a lot to just sort of like dismiss or invalidate people's concerns or people's like need for there to be more like coverage just of like black people existing and doing great things um because we're still trying to get to a, like an equal level where black people feel like they can exist in spaces like this so yeah my perception of trinity was that it would be full of like private school people and white people and posh people and um in a way, that is kind of true that there are a lot of, of private school people here. But I don't know why I, I thought that I couldn't connect with people from a private school because now most of my friends actually are from there. And, we, and, and we're still very similar. So, so I would say I, I, I don't know why I was so scared in, in being in an area that's just full of private school people because we can still relate to, to, to each other on, on so many d d different levels. And the people here are, are very are very humble. Like even if people are very very rich, most time you can never ever, ever tell. And anyways, I feel like coming here, I didn't like set a lot of expectations for what I thought Cambridge would be like. I just kind of wanted to go in because I feel like I don't know. The more expectations you set for yourself, like you'll just end up being more disappointed. I didn't want to be disappointed because I knew like okay, I'm going to a place where like I feel like I will stick out quite a bit. But also like I don't want that to define my experience. Like I don't want to my Cambridge experience to be fine by, oh, I'm a black student in Cambridge, like, I just am um, a Cambridge student like everyone else. Yeah, I think my black identity has probably definitely influenced the friendship group because, as you said, there's lots of people in Trinity, so my friendship group could have gone through any number of variations, but I know if I look at it, it's more diverse than probably what the other friendship groups are. Yeah, just the, the like bonding with people from a similar background to you is it's just different. So yeah, so I, I would say that in most of my friendship groups since, since coming to university, they have been very diverse just because I feel like we can bond on like a, a different level. Yeah, I share a similar experience to Michelle because like my school was like pretty much like 99% white. And I think like coming here, like most of my friends are like from ethnic backgrounds. And again, like I don't know why this, I think it's just like, you just gravitate towards them because you share similar values. Yeah. Like you can, you listen to the same music, like you share similar foods and just like, I guess your upbringing has been the same. So you can kind of connect on the, I guess, uh, lessons that you had when you were like growing up and things like that. So I think it's just nice to finally like find people that like, oh, like we've had similar experiences. Like we can connect on like a much deeper level, which I think is really nice. I think people like underestimate how important it is to like, find people with the same music taste as you like yeah. so important I, it's so important I, I feel like around. music <laughs> is the foundation of, of, of a friendship is, is, yeah. is what I, I found in Cambridge it's a very interesting cor correlation actually and then I think ho hopefully somewhere out there there's like a, a study of, about like music taste and the strength of, of, of a friendship and then if there is I definitely like to read that and and see it but yeah I think like the idea of community also is like home and it just feels like weird to me when I see like students like this is their home being asked to like prove 
that they're a part of it. I think that really kind of like tears down the idea of like, oh, your college is where you live, like it's your home, it's your base. But at the same time, that's like invalidated every single time like a student is like stopped and asked what they're doing in their own like house almost. Yeah, I, I always find those situations confusing. Like when I've just gone for a run and I've just exited the college and then I come back and see the same porter that I just smiled at and they're still like, oh, do you have your card? And it's just like, why would I be running into Trinity College? <laughs> and then <laughs> when I'm wearing my Trinity puffer jacket, which has the Trinity logo on it, and I just stepped out of a college grounds that has the card, so I couldn't have got into here if I wasn't a Trinity student, and yet a porter still might come up to me and say, oh, where's your university card? And it just sometimes doesn't make sense yeah. at all. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like those experiences are more like porters making it a security reason, or do you feel like it's something a bit deeper than that? That's a good question, you know, that's a very spicy question. Um, I don't know, I feel like it could be something deeper than that, because just when you speak to our friends from different backgrounds, they haven't really experienced this as much as, as, as we have. Mm -hmm. Like, they haven't been carded as, as much as I have, which only leads me to think one thing, of, obviously. Mm -hmm. So I'm just looking at the facts of, of what I've experienced and then, you know, mm -hmm. looking at what I can infer from that. I know even in respect workshops, we say it as a scenario that a student is getting carded and this could have, like, racism as a background to that. And people don't believe it, that it even happens. They just don't think that it's a scenario that people might be carded more often than others. Mm -hmm. So I think people that don't experience it might not even be aware that it's something that's happening to those students. I think I've been lucky in my life that I haven't actually re received a, a lot of racism whatsoever. Um, but I think the thing that's really annoyed me is that at times people can kind of pinpoint my achievements to me being black and only that. So I remember when I got into Cambridge, lots of people said I, I got into Cambridge because I'm black and, and they want to get people from a, a, a more diverse background. And that's the reason why I, I, I got into Cambridge and, and Trinity. And that kind of just like belittled my, my achievements in a way. And that really kind of fueled my imposter syndrome as well, as I thought throughout the, the, the whole year. But perhaps then the only reason why I'm here is because they want to increase their, like, their, their diversity. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so I think that was quite harmful. Do you guys ever wish you could almost like, not like turn off being black, but do you ever wish like sometimes you could just sort of like, I don't know, just sort of like go sort of like unrecognised in certain spaces? you worry about certain things because you are like like i don't know i'll be walking down the street like at night with my friends and like or like i'll be like walking past like drunk people and i feel like oh am i gonna like get hate crimed right now yeah. and i wish like i didn't have to worry about those things or like worry about my safety like if i was like walking alone even like within a group of like other like with, with white friends or like with people from different backgrounds like am i gonna be the one to get singled out or like be turned away from like a club or something like that yeah. I think also on a level people don't always understand your experience mm -hmm. just because like in media and across society what people know is mostly the white experience mm -hmm. so just if you're talking about something whatever topic and then like just a look from other people and they don't know what you're talking about and then if you're the first person that's kind of introducing them to those things then you also have the onus of being that person and trying mm -hmm. to represent a whole community that is yeah. not homogenous and it's just like I can't carry the whole black experience on my shoulders. Mm. Yeah I feel like as black students there's a lot of pressure to that like, like you're like you yourself are the representative of every mm. black person Honestly. in the world we're not just black Cambridge students, we are Cambridge students, mm -hmm. we're not just, you know, I feel like being black doesn't define our, like, academic achievements or anything, we, like, still are, like, we're here because, like, we're very smart just like everyone else, we're not here because we're black. I feel like if, I don't know, we, we are smart and we're black at the same time, I feel like that's something we can, I guess, easy, that we shouldn't forget.